back health. It's about the things you do to prevent it and what you're sitting on right now that can possibly change how your back is for years to come. I wanna give you the tools and knowledge right from the very beginning so you be sure to cover all bases going forward. Remember, it's all about your back and we got your back. Let's learn drums. Let's do it, cue the intro. Hello, Mark Ali here with Let's Learn Drums, a beginner's guide to the drum set and markslessonsforkids.com. All right, in this video, it's a little different. It's not just an instructional video. It's a sharing of experience video and also some things to keep in mind when playing drums. A couple things. One, it's all about posture. Two, it's all about the drum throne that you're using. And three, it's all about prevention of the things that you do before you get onto the drum kit. The things that you can do to keep yourself healthy, to keep in mind things that you might not have thought about before. If you were to ask your future self, future self, why is my back hurting right now? Go backwards and you go, well, this is why. That was something I wish that I did when I first started. So I had a little bit more of an idea before I really hurt myself. Full disclaimer, everything that I tell you from here on out is a personal experience. I am not a doctor. I am not a medical specialist. I am a drummer that have gone through some pretty serious back issues. And I want to give you some things to think about before you go further. This is the time to do it. At the very beginning, if you're learning how to play drums from the very beginning, you are getting some good advice. But it's not just coming from me. It's coming from a medical professional, a chiropractor, someone that I trust and someone that I believe in and someone that developed a great product that I'm sitting on right now. As you can see, I'm very mobile. I'm moving around. My shoulders are back. I'm keeping a, a good conscious effort to make sure that I am not slouching. Something that I wish I had more advice on early on, but whatever, I now, now is the time. Now I get it. Keep an open mind and let's get into it right now. Posture. Good posture is so important. Now, there's a lot of drummers years before medical advice was something you can get easily. You'd see drummers hunched over like this playing, which is not comfortable, but they were so amazing and fast and incredible. And then years later, they started to get back issues but weren't really conscious about why, but then they look back on, see pictures and things and go, oh, maybe that was it. You're in a chair, like say a couch, for instance, and you just plop down on that couch. And next thing you know, you're just watching TV, not thinking about it. And trust me, we do this all the time. It's hard to keep track of everything that you do all the time. It's just not, it's just not gonna happen. You're not gonna keep yourself aware all the time. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be something you're just gonna not think about. So you're just gonna do it. One day you'll wake up and you'll reach for something and then something will go, oh, ow, excruciating pain, why? Then you'll go to a chiropractor and then they'll see you have a slipped disc or something, which has happened to me multiple times. When it comes to posture, the best thing you can do when sitting on your drum throne is to get a mirror, something that keeps you aware and something you can look at and go, okay, how is my back? What am I doing wrong? Are my shoulders back and slouched this way? What are some of the things that I can do? Well, number one, always put your shoulders back. Number two, arch your back. Give yourself a little bit of a roll and then feel what it's like to sit upright. Number three, be sure to keep in shape. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay. I'm not talking about being a bodybuilder. I'm not talking about trying to be an Olympic athlete or anything. All I'm trying to say is this. If you keep yourself in shape and keep your body healthy, you will have less problems. But then again, sometimes you say to yourself, I'm fine. And then you've worked out and you feel good. But then that one thing will happen and then your back will go out and then you'll be like, what is wrong with me? I just hurt myself. So it can go both ways, prevention and working on things that you can practice to keep yourself more aware is important. One of the things I like to do is Pilates or yoga, core strengthening exercises. 
doing uh, sit-ups is really good or leg lifts and any kind of exercise you choose to do that has to do with your core is always a good idea. If you wear a heavy backpack that has a lot of weight to it, that can put strain on your neck and therefore things will start to happen to your wrists and you'll do all this damage that you don't think of and then that one movement that you make that you don't think of, bam, trip to the chiropractor. Another thing is finding a wall, a wall to test out how your shoulders are put back like this and then you walk away from it and you feel like your chest is out, you're feeling good. A lot of things you can keep in mind. This next thing is something that is subjective. There are a lot of different drum thrones. Yes, we're talking about drum thrones, the thing that you sit on. You're not standing and playing drums unless you're a Slim Jim fandom from the Stray Cats. Then you're standing up <laughs> or you're on a cocktail kit. When you're sitting down, the thing you sit on that's one of the most important things. For me, I've had a lot of different drum thrones throughout the years, and I've always kept my eye out for a design or something that works better for me. You can go tried and true with a traditional drum throne and be totally comfortable with it. All right, so let's talk about the very thing I'm sitting on right now, which is the Motion Pro Drum Throne. Now, a couple things are gonna stand out when you see this throne. One, the split down the middle. Two, the springs underneath the throne. What are those about? Well, instead of having me explain it to you, let's talk to its creator. Let's ask him some questions. I'm here with Richard Robert Shaw, chiropractor to the stars. Am I right? Yeah, that's, that's Something like that. good. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, Richard. I'm really happy that you're here and um, answering some really cool questions about the drum throne, chiropractic care, how drummers can take care of themselves. It's important to you know, have that awareness of health and to um, when you're spending hours and hours on a drum kit, what are some of the precautions that you take? So take it from there, doc. Yes, my name is Richard Robert Shaw. I've, I'm a chiropractor. I've been practicing in San Francisco for 41 years. I teach relicensing seminars for chiropractors and I study a lot of anatomy. I take many, many anatomy courses over at the school in Hayward and at the New York Chiropractic College each year. All right, so let me ask you a couple questions so we can uh, debunk some things and maybe demystify or answer some questions for drummers out there. So when did you start directing your attention to drummers specifically after years of chiropractic care? Well, in 1995, I, I designed a chair that is very much like the drum throne. It has two sides to it so that the pelvis can move reciprocally from side to side. Then a patient of mine came in, it was around like 2009, 2010. He's a bass player and he said he was at the NAMM show looking for a seat he could use in his performances. So he told me he couldn't find one. I said, well, let, let me try and come up with one for you. So I developed a smaller seat uh, with springs underneath it, split down the middle. And so he used it. Uh, it was just a prototype. He used it and he came back and he said, you know, this is, this is great. You got to take this to NAMM, right? So in 2011, uh, I went to my first NAMM show with a very crude prototype, two big fat seats, you know, split down the middle uh, with springs underneath but it got a lot of attention and a lot of attention from Modern Drummer Magazine. Wow. And I was surprised um, of, of the instantaneous interest we had in this product. And so therefore, over the years, I developed into a more concise and a, a smaller seat, one that would um, fit drummers more appropriately. And so therefore, it started this research of working with drummers here in the Bay Area. And so I made a few prototypes and we did videos of the drummer sitting in the seat, um, my seat, the, the uh, spinal glide seat and a regular uh, drum throne. And we watched how as they played, when they moved their arms and their legs, all this compression was taking place in the lower back. And it was just a pounding in the lower back. However, with the split seat, with the springs underneath it, it enhanced the movement of the pelvis. And they, we noticed that the drummers were sitting up straighter and there was, there was 
a, a lot of motion in the body, but there was no pounding in the lower back. The back was actually moving. The pelvis was removed, was moving reciprocally from side to side, and the back wasn't compressing. What inspired you to create Motion Pro Drum Thrones, and specifically, how did you develop the system? Well, again, after working with many drummers, um, and we took their advice, right, as far as the seat design, mainly seat design, but also the, the springs themselves. Like we, we were using softer springs initially, but then we came up with a stiffer spring. So um, actually we're using a modified bicycle seat spring that has a lot of tension in it. And so therefore you can see that um, there's four springs on each side in a diamond configuration. And that diamond configuration allows the pelvis not only to move reciprocally, but also it can pitch roll and yaw. And that's, that's exactly what the pelvis does. So I'm gonna bring in my assistant here. So this is not one bone here. You have three bones, you have the sacrum and the two pelvic bones. And when you move, these pelvic bones move reciprocally from side to side. So when you're sitting, they should still have that motion, right? Because walking is really good for the back. And, and a lot of people that suffer from back pain, if they get up and walk, many times they feel a lot better, right? So we wanted to emulate that in our seat. That's why we came up with these uh, stiffer springs and in that diamond configuration to allow that full range of motion of the pelvis when sitting. There's a lot of science behind it and a lot of anatomy behind it. What about the springs specifically? How do they prevent injury and will it prevent injury? Right. Well, I don't want to say that they prevent injury um, and because you don't know what's going on with somebody's back. They could have they could have a bulging disc, they could have nerve damage, they could have scoliosis in the lower back. However, the springs allow movement or mobility, and that is what helps prevent compression of the lower back, osteoarthritis forming in the lower back after pounding of years sitting and playing the drums. And that, that's one thing I, I really want to stress is, is when I watch drummers um, from the back or from the side, their, their back is just pounding. It's just compressing. It can't take that for, maybe, maybe you could get away with that for like five, maybe six or seven years, but then the osteoarthritis starts to form and your back's going to stiffen up. And so our goal was to have a seat that, that allows you to move around on it and have your pelvis move with it. And, and that's what we accomplished. What are some of the tips you can give drummers? I would suggest that um, when, when you're sitting that long and you're playing that intensely, you need to be, you need to be very prepared for it. Um, I, I always recommend like Pilates or yoga. Um, exercise is really important. Aerobic exercise is really important. Climbing steps is really important, right? Anytime you, you um, have any activity that you have to do for any period of time, you really need to be fit in order to do it, right? If you're performing for hours, you have to be very, you have to be, <laughs> have to be in good shape, right? Um, exercise, you know, uh, running, swimming, anything aerobic, riding, a, just getting on a bike and riding a bike, um, uh, strengthening up the abdominal, the core muscles, uh, strengthening up the back. All of this is really important. I, and I know people say, well, I, I don't have time for exercise. As a drummer, um, I would think that you would want to be in, in one of the best shapes you can be because you guys are out there um, almost like aerobic athletes. The way some of these drummers play, it's just incredible. And in order for them to achieve that, um, they got they have they have to be in fairly good shape. I know there there are there are drummers that that um, play very smoothly, right, and 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 not that vigorously, and they accomplish the same thing. But um, I would say exercise and stretching it is the key. What you do off the kit helps when you're on the kit. Yes, and. Again, I bring my assistant in here. He has some very powerful muscles in the pelvis. Just in the, just in the bottom of the pelvis, you have eight different muscles. 
right? And then you have these big muscles called the psoas muscle that goes from the spine. It actually attaches into the disc and attaches into the uh, inside of the femur. That's it's a big, thick, round muscle, very powerful, right? And it's what raises your leg up, right? When you're going up steps or if you're moving your legs up when you're sitting, it's the psoas muscle that does it. Um, having your core muscle strength assists that, right? Because you, if you use if you use just a certain group of muscles so long, they're they're going to recruit other muscles to help them out, and and that's when things start to tighten up, right? So that's it, it's it's really important to to get a core strength in the abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles, but you can't preface that enough. What are some of the things that drummers should keep in mind? A step, one, two, three, maybe four of when you are on the throne for a long time. What are the specific things drummers should do to prepare? Many years ago, there was a chess player named Bobby Fischer, very famous chess champion. Before he played a game, he went out and ran a mile, right? Because it got his body moving. Now, I know that, that a lot of performers don't have the time to do that, but I also believe Mick Jagger does the same thing. And I, I, in an interview, he was talking about Bobby Fischer. So he goes out and he runs. When he comes on stage, he has all this energy, right? As if he's still running, right? So before, you just can't sit in a car for a long time or get off of a bus, right? Your equipment gets set up and then you go in there and play. You, you got, you, I would suggest that you do some kind of stretching and not, not just bending over and touching your toes. You know, have a routine that you set up where you can stretch side to side and back and forward and stretch your legs uh, as, as loose as you can get before, before you um, start playing, right? That would probably be the most important preparation. The other one is stay hydrated, drink a lot of water. I'll tell myself I need to drink water, but I won't. And then I'll, I'll lock up or something will happen. And then also things like eating a little bit beforehand, like say some potassium or, or some, like what, what are some of the things they can eat? Uh, I would say um, minerals and protein, right? Because let's say you're, if you're playing for like hours and you do forget to drink some water, right? And you get dehydrated, the body starts to stiffen up. Right. If you're low on minerals, right, your body starts to, the joints start to stiffen up. Right. Protein, that's just to give you energy. Sit down and play the drums on a full stomach. Right. So uh, I think just having a little bit of food before you eat is a good idea, but eating a big meal is not. You know, and again, it depends on how long you're playing. You know, if you're playing for an hour, that's different. If you're, if you're out there practicing for a long time or, or your performances for, you know, like hours, you know, um, again, you, you have to be as fit as possible and as relaxed and loose as possible. What are some serious steps that a drummer can take to fix any issues they might have right now? Like say they're already feeling some discomfort. Cause I know a lot of drummers out of necessity are desperate to find something that they, they have no choice but to work. They have to get out there and play. Even if they're injured, they gotta do something. So what do you think are some of the things they can do to, uh, to fix those things or to at least make it easier for them to go play? Well, first I'd like to say that, it, let's say if a person has sciatica down the back of the leg, really bad back pain and it's unrelenting. Now it's gonna be very difficult to play the drums and it's also, it's not a wise thing to do without first getting either an MRI or an X-ray and find out what's going on there. Now, if somebody has a, uh, uh, a ligament that's, that's irritated in the lower back, you know, it's going to be very difficult to play, right? Um, so there are those situations where there actually is a medical situation or an anatomical anomaly that's, that's taking place. But in general, let's say that you, you play the drums for hours and you get up and your back is stiff, that, that's from immobility. That's just from um, standard compression, which can, which can end up being a serious issue over the, over the years. What's the best place and way they can contact you? Can they hit email you directly if any drummers have any questions pertaining to their specific situation? They can definitely in, uh, call me 
at 530-913-1916. They can also go on our website, motionpro.org. They can see the other types of models that we have. And I also want to say that the Drum Throne does not come with a tripod. We sell it separate with an adjustable uh, bracket on the bottom. And I also want to explain the complexity that goes into putting these things together. The, that's why they cost a little more, is the labor is intensive, right? Because putting these lock washers on and these lock nuts on, but but once they're on, I mean, this, this thing is solid. It's, it's going to last for a very long time. And, and it's your career. It's, it's definitely going to um, add some longevity to your career. Dr. Richard Robert Shaw out of San Francisco, California. If they're in the Bay Area and in that area, how can they contact you to meet with you in person for, uh, I, I assume you do chiropractic adjustments as well? Anybody that comes out here, they can come to my office. I'm, I'm, I'm listed. Um, on Google, and, um, and they can even come up here. I have drum thrones in the office. I always have them here so people can try them out. I want to say thank you for doing developing a product that is really saved my back, literally. Well, thanks for the opportunity. I, I really appreciate it. So in conclusion, I hope you got a lot out of this video. I had a lot of fun making it, and I got a lot out of it as well. Now, when you take someone that's as passionate as Dr. Richard Robertshaw about what he does, it translates exactly to what we're passionate about, the drums. It's about passion. It's about integrity. It's about your willingness to improve and to cover all bases, one of those bases being health so you can be able to play for years to come and this is something that i thought was very important and something that i'm very passionate about as well and i was glad to be able to make this video and i hope it helped you and i want nothing but the best for you and your drumming health so if you found this video helpful and enjoyed it go ahead hit that like button smash the subscribe button and all the cliche things you can possibly imagine when it comes to just subscribing and being notified because really this stuff really does help. And I will see you at the next video. Let's learn drums.com.